The Trail at House on the Hill is a classic uh, early 2000s game that is a co-op at first. And then as you explore this haunted house and tiles get revealed as players move their miniature around, uh, sometimes one player will somehow trigger an event uh, known as a haunt. And all of a sudden they check the haunt manual, which then ends up making them uh, either a traitor or controlling a monster or somehow uh, against the other players. So all of a sudden, and you don't know at the beginning of the game who's gonna end up, you know, just starting the haunt, but it's unique in that you just start out cooperatively exploring and trying to collect items and different things, but stuff affects you as you go through, drawing certain cards that might be a curse or might be a benefit. And once that haunt starts, the gameplay completely changes. And there's so many ways that the haunt can start and so many different uh, storylines or scenarios that come as part of that. So there's a, the, the haunt booklet actually has, I think, 50 or 60 pages of different scenarios that can happen. Now this is a, an older one. They actually have reprinted this in different, um, different ways. They've got the Scooby-Doo Betrayal. They've got a, a Betrayal Legacy, which is just another version of this. That means that every game you play, uh, there's a permanent change that affects every game you play after that. Um, but this original one, a lot of people have tried this and it's just been a classic ever since. It's never gone out of style. And if you like that sort of co-op where there might be uh, one of you turning against the others, this is one that I think you're going to enjoy. Uh, it stood the test of time. Betrayal at House on the Hill.